Hello friends, I welcome you all to this lecture session on the traditional art form of Kutiyatam. It is called Kutiyatam or you can call it Kudiyatam also. Kutiyatam is a form of Sanskrit theatre traditionally performed in the state of Kerala. Performed in the Sanskrit language in Hindu temples, it is believed to be 2000 years old. It is officially recognized by UNESCO as a masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. In the modern world, the late Natacharya Vidushka Ratnam Padmshri Guru Mani Madhava Chakyar has been the best known face of Kudiyatam. He was known for mastery of Ras Abhinaya with special reference to Netra Abhinaya. He has been a major force in popularizing Kudiyatam by taking it out of the Hindu temples performing across India with his troupe and teaching it to non chakyar caste members. He has adopted, choreographed and directed well-known plays such as Kalidasa's The Recognition of Sakuntala, Vikrama Urvashya and Malvika Agnimitra and Bhasa's Swapna Vasavdatta for performance in the Kudiyatam style. Mani Madhav Chakyar's disciple and nephew Mani Damodar Chakyar is also a Kudiyatam performer of traditional devotional Kudiyatams such as Anguli Yanka, Mat Vilasa, Mantranka, Ezamanka. Any reference to Chakyar Kuthu will not be complete without mentioning Penkulam Raman Chakyar. He was the first instructor for Chakyar Kuthu when it was started as a course in Kalamandalam. Kudiyatam or Kudiyatam meaning Combined acting signifies Sanskrit drama presented in the traditional style in temple theatre of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. It is the only surviving specimen of the ancient Sanskrit theatre. It has an attested history of a thousand years in Kerala, but its origin and evolution are shrouded in mystery. Kutiyatam and Chakyar Kutu were among the dramatized dance worship services in temples of ancient India, particularly Tamil, Tamilakam, modern day Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Both Kutiyatam and Chakyar Kutu find several mentions in ancient Sangam literature of South and also in the epigraphs belonging to subsequent Pallava, Chera, Chola periods in Tamil Nadu. Inscriptions related to the dramatized dance worship services like Kudiyatam and Chakyar Kuthu are available in temples at Tanjore, 
तिरु वैदा मरथर वैदा रनयम तिरुवरूर एंड ओमम पुलियर दे वर ट्रीटेड एज एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ वर्शिप सर्विसेज अलोंग द सिंगिंग ऑफ तेवरम एंड प्रबंधम हाइम्स देर आर मैंशंस इन एपिग्राफ्स दोज फॉर्म्स ऑफ ड्रामाटाइज डांस वर्शिप सर्विसेज दैट आर कॉल्ड आर्यम दैट मोस्टली हैड संस्कृत स्क्रिप्ट फॉर प्लेस several ancient kings and uh, members of other professions are listed to have authored several works for these services there is evidence of these uh, services being done all over ancient subcontinent during time of cholas and pallavas a pallav king called rajasimha has been credited with authoring a play called kailaso dharanam in tamil that has the topic of ravan becoming subject to shiva's anger and being subdued mercilessly for the same for examples a fragmented inscription at the doorstep of an ancient shiva temple now non existent in pagan in myanmar finds mention of these services it is believed that kula shekra varman cheraman perumal an ancient king of tamil chera dynasty who ruled from mahodayapuram modern kodungallur reformed kudiyattam introducing the local language for vidushak and structuring presentation of the play to well defined units he himself wrote two plays subhadra harna and tapatissam varna and made arrangements for their presentation on stage with the help of a brahmin friend called tolan these plays are still presented on stage apart from these the plays traditionally presented include Eskaryu Sudamani of Sakti Bhadra Kalyan Sugandhika of Nilkant Bhagavata Juka of Bodhayana Naganand of Harsh and many plays ascribed to Bhas including Abhishek and Pratima The Kutiyattam performance was performed in specially designed temples called kutambalams the use of buddhist themes for plays is a very controversial and moot issue and seem to be a later interpolation not existing since ancient times for the later not being a legal vedic system traditionally Kutiyattam has been performed by chakiyars a subcaste of Kerala Hindus and by Nangya Ramma women of the Ambalvasi Nambiar caste the name Kutiyattam meaning playing together suggests a combined performance of chakiyar and nangiyar the main actor is a chakiyar who performs the ritualistic kuthu and kudiyattam inside the temple or in the kutambalam chakiyar women ilotamas are not allowed to participate instead the female roles are played by nangya ramma the practice was that elders of the chakiyar community taught it to their youngsters and it was an art form performed only for chakiyars till the 1950s in 1955 guru mani madhav chakiyar performed kutiyattam outside the temple for the first time for performing the art forms outside the temples 
he faced many problems from the hardline Chakyar community. In his own words, my own people condemned me and condemned my action performing Kuthu and Kutiyatam outside the precincts of the temples. Once after I had given performance at Vaikam, they even thought about excommunicating me. I desired that this art should survive the test of time. That was precisely why I ventured outside the temple. In 1962, under the leadership of Dr. V. Raghavan, noted art and Sanskrit scholar, Sanskrit Ranga of Madras invited Guru Mani Madhav Chakyar to perform Kutiyatam in Chennai. Thus, for the first time in history, Kutiyatam was performed outside Kerala. They presented at Chennai on three nights. Kutiyatam scenes from plays Subhadra Charanjya and Naganda. The performance of the maestro Mani Madhav Chakyar made great impact on the people and art critics. So that Kutiyatam and Mani Madhav Chakyar became famous outside Kerala. People outside Kerala were able to witness the talent of the maestro. Then Mani Madhav Chakyar was invited and performed Kutiyatam at places in North India like New Delhi and Banaras. It made the critic to accept his authority in Ras Abhinaya, Nate Shastra and Kutiyatam. After Chakyar's first tour to New Delhi, he was awarded immediately with Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1964 for his contributions to Chakyar Kuthu and Kutiyatam. The first national recognition to the maestro and the art form. His supremacy in Ras Abhinaya and Netra Abhinaya and Kutiyatam became very famous and attracted a lot of people towards this art form. He performed Kudiyatam all over India and popularized the same. He and his troupe did Kutiyatam performances in places like Chennai, Madhura, New Delhi, Varanasi, Mumbai, Ujjain, Bhopal, etc. The former president of India, scholar and philosopher, late Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, invited him to perform Kutiyatam at Rashtrapati Bhavan in 1964 and was impressed by the Guru's exceptional acting skills. His Kutiyatam performances, lectures and demonstrations at uh, centers like Chennai Music Academy in Chennai, International Center for Kathakali in New Delhi, Experimental Theatre in New Delhi and Bombay, and National Center for the Performing Arts in Mumbai fetched wide popularity and recognition for his Abhinaya and Kudiyatam. He choreographed and directed acts of the plays like Kalidasa's Abhigyan Shakuntalam, Vikrama Urvashya and Malvika Agni Metra, Bhasha's uh, Swapan Vasavdatta, Harsha's Nagananda for the first time in the history of Kutiyatam. He and his troupe performed these Kutiyatams all over India and all over the world. He performed Chakyar Kutu and Kutiyatam for All India Radio and Doordarshan for the first time, which helped to attract thousands of listeners to these traditional art forms. It was he who started demonstrations in Kutiyatam to popularize the same. In early 1960s, Maria Christopher Bareski, a Polish student doing research in Indian theatres at Banaras Hindu University, 
came to study Kutiyatam from the maestro Mani Madhav Chakyar and became the first non Chakyar Nambiar to learn the art form. He stayed in Guru's home at uh, his place and studied the art form in traditional Gurukul way. Kutiyatam is perhaps the most structured among theatre arts anywhere in the world. Its primary sources are the dramatic texts, the Sanskrit plays, namely by Bhas, Kulasekra, Varman, Mahendra Vikrama, Harsha, and Nilkantha. In the beginning, training in Kutiyatam was done at the temple based Chakyar Gurukulams. Training in different aspects of Kutiyatam was imparted thus till the middle of the 20th century. From that time, it changed with institutional training and the first among such centers was the Kerala Kala Mandalam. Actors of Kutiyatam undergo training in uh, recitation of slokas, adopting stylized stances, training in movements of the eyes and the facial muscles, expressions and practices of uh, mudra or stylized hand gestures, which are the alphabets of acting with the hands. And the drummers practiced beats on the mizavu in different tempos, for example, from the slowest through middle to very fast tempos. Artists also were trained in playing other instruments like idaka, kurum, kuzai, thimilya, and kuzi thalam. Stage performance and makeup of this presentation of uh, kutiyatam is a highly structured affair and is governed by strict theatre conventions. It starts with the makeup of artists and the process of doing makeup and a red cloth band is tied over the forehead of the actors which is taken off only after completion of the performance. In Kutiyatam, the noble characters don the pacha or green makeup. The villainous heroes go for the kathi makeup and characters with demon traits wear dark painted makeup known as kari. An act of a play is the established norm of stage presentation. It takes several days to complete an act. The opening day starts with the sounding of the mizavu, the main percussion support, followed by prayer to Lord Ganpati and sounding of Goshti or opening drum beats on the uh, mizavu, followed by sprinkling of water on the stage with the incantations by the mizavu player. This is followed by other stages like the Nitya Kriya, Exquisite Dance Steps, Chandan Vali and Dik Pal Vandanam, which marks the conclusion of first day. The second day of performance starts with Nirvahanam and may last for several days. Nirvahanam is the most important section. Uh, from the point of view of histrionics and aesthetics of Kutiyatam. The most beautiful part of the art lies here. One actor takes on the roles of several characters by recourse to the techniques known as Pakarnatam or extended acting. Also, the fourfold acting concept in Kutiyatam comes into full play here 
with angika or gestural acting, vachika, oral, aharya, dress and makeup and sattvika, exploring the innermost recesses of the human mind. The last section is kutiyatam, literally combined acting, in which more than one character appears on the stage and interacts much in the same way as in ordinary play acting by means of dialogues. But here also the presentation is different being just stylized and structured. At the end of the act is a ritual known as mudikitha, removal of the headgear by the main actor, placing it on the stage floor and offering prayers and prostrations before making a ceremonial exit after extinguishing the lamp wicks. When a whole play of several acts is completed in the above manner, there is the enactment of what is known as Bharat Vakya or grand finale, wherein the entire happenings of the play are re-enacted in a nutshell. Some of the outstanding names in Kutiyatam acting are Mani Madhav Chakyar, Pankulam Rama Chakyar, Amanur Madhav Chakyar, P. K. Narayanan Nambiyar, Amanur Parmeswara Chakyar, Kidangur Kutapa Chakyar, Muzikulam Kochukutan Chakyar, Mani Damodra Chakyar, Pankulam Damodra Chakyar, Amanur Kutan Chakyar, Kalamandalam Rama Chakyar and Kalamandalam Sivan Nambudri. Some of the centers of repute in Kutiyatam are the Kerala Kalamandalam Margi in Thiruvananthapuram district, the Amanur Gurukulam at Irinja Kulda in Thrissur district and the Mani Madhav Chakyar Gurukulam at Lakadi in Palakkad district. With this we have come to the end part of this lecture friends. I will sum it up for you in very few words. Kutiyatam is performed by a community of uh, male actors called Chakyars and female performers called Nangiyars, assisted by drummers called Nambiyars. In theatre houses called Kutamplums, Kutiyatam is an exclusive and inclusive term that refers to more than one art form. Apart from Kutiyatam, the mode of theatre in which the Chakyars and the Nangiyars take part together. It also integrates Nangiyar Kutu, the theatre exclusively performed by the Nangiyars and Prabandha Kutu or merely Chakyar Kutu as it is otherwise known, the verbal narrative drama of the Chakyars. The prefix kuti in Malayalam language primarily means combined or together and atam means acting. Therefore, the word kutiyatam means combined acting. Simply put, it is a theatre in which several characters come together on the stage. Apart from this primary meaning, perhaps there are several other layers of meaning embedded in the term kuti. It is a combination of elements drawn from the local Dravidian and the Pan-Indian performance traditions. It integrates the historic aspect of the elaborate acting of the hero and the other main characters based on classical Sanskrit and the verbal narration of the Vidushaka, the comic character. In the regional language of Malayalam, in terms of international theatrical history, Kutiyatam, the Sanskrit theatre of Kerala, can perhaps well claim the greatest antiquity. Kutiyatam is a form of theatre that originated in an ancient past, dating back to about two millennia. 
one of the most remarkable traditions of world theatre. It draws on the plays of the eminent Sanskrit dramatists of India. In recent times, Kutiyatam has gained the attention of theatre people and scholars from all over the world. Recently, Kutiyatam has been declared as among the masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. It is for the first time in the history of UNESCO that uh, unselect art form uh, across the world uh, have been given the recognition as part its effort to safeguard expressions of oral heritage and traditional culture which are in danger of disappearing due to the effects of globalization. So, with this we come to an end. Take care. Bye-bye.